Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. It's blonde, it's not gray. Hey, um, let's start it off with some birthdays on this report. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report anyway. Hey, uh, happy birthday to one time uh, Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion, H.C. Loke, 37 years old, and one time WWE Champion uh, Mike Mazanian. Who? The Miz. 31 years old and former WWE star Paul Burchill, 32. Also, today would have been the birthday of WWE AAA Tag Team Champion Art Barr, 45. Was married to his sister for a while, Candy, but uh, she was a handful. Hey, uh, Christy Hemmings, she's scheduled to do a, a rare appearance at a TNA house show this weekend, and she's going to be handling the ring duties during her organization's tour of Quebec, Canada. They're all up north. Oh, it's cold up there right now or not? Uh, though he may no, no longer be actively competing, Hulk Hogan still commands about the highest salaries in the professional wrestling industry. Just how much? I, hope you're, I don't know how much you guys make, but hope you're sitting down. While TNAs, uh, they uh, were discussing the decision to renew their contract with Hogan on October 5th episode of uh, the Re Wrestling Observer Live, Dave Meltzer was on there and stated that the organization pays the wrestling legend $35,000 per television appearance and potentially totaling over $2 million per year. TNA regularly uh, discloses their uh, financial information to Meltzer, by the way, uh, hence uh, the knowledge of Hogan's salary, which they're probably pissed at him now for no, for saying it, but uh, are, should they? I mean, is he actually keeping the rating up to one, uh, uh, or is he holding it down? I, I'm not sure. Give me your opinion if you want. October 6th episode of This Is Odd, Impact Wrestling featuring Hulk Hogan's retirement ceremony drew a 1.01 rating which marks the program's lowest rating of the year. All right. The number is down from 1.14 rating the show did last week. Uh, of course, there's, other, there's competition out there. Can't leave it all to, uh, to him to pull the rating, keep the ratings up. Thursday's show averaged about uh, 1.3 million people, and uh, last week it was uh, about 1.5 million people watched it. Bobby Roode is going to be a host uh, to the first ever Australia fan viewing party in Sydney, Australia, Saturday afternoon, November 5th, uh, which is uh, for Impact Wrestling. And it's going to be airing every Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. on Fuel TV in Australia, the interactive event will uh, feature live interviews and be recorded for global television audience. So it's very excited about going down under. I always am myself. Australia is nice too, but anyways, I want to personally thank fans that uh, watch uh, me and Impact Wrestling, whatever. So uh, now we go on to CM Punk. He's en route to the United States after being over in Australia. Uh, the Australian version of uh, Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards Friday. Uh, therefore, he isn't scheduled for this weekend's Raw Live Tour, so just have to wait till Monday. Former WWE Champion and uh, was nominated for the Best Batty Award, but lost to Australian uh, radio and television personality Kyle Sandilin. October 7, 2011, episode of uh, WWE Vintage Collection on Sky Sports featured the following matches. Uh, it's kind of strange. Uh, the Barbarian versus Ming, uh, that was on uh, Road Wild in uh, 98. Doom versus Fabulous Freebirds, that was uh, Wrestle War in 91. Ron Simmons taking on Butch Reed at Super Brawl. Diesel taking on Shawn Michaels uh, in your house. And uh, that's just odd combinations on there. I thought they'd have a rhyme or reason, like a whole show, but they just picked here and there. Todd Grisham's profile on WWE.com has been uh, transferred over to the SmackDown Superstar section to the alumni section, uh, thus finalizing his departure from the organization. It was disclosed on August uh, 23rd episode of uh, NXT that Grisham, uh, who handled the playable play duties over for the program, was leaving WWE to pursue interests with ESPN. 
matches has been announced for WWE's upcoming tour of Japan. November 30th, they'll be over here. Yokohama Center is going to be featuring John Cena taking on Del Rio for the championship. Dolph Ziggler Kofi King, uh, versus Kofi Kingston for the U.S. title. Kelly Kelly taking on Beth Phoenix for the Diva Championship December 1st at Yokohama Arena. Will be uh, Cena and Punk taking on uh, to be announced, whoever that is. And Big Show uh, versus uh, Mason Ryan. Dolph Ziggler taking on Evan Bourne for the U.S. title championship. And by the way, Caitlin turns uh, 25 years old, which I think I said that yesterday. Maybe she turned 25 on both days. I'm not sure. Different, uh, different countries have different artwork for the THQ uh, WWE 12 video game coming out, and the original Sin Caras is being chosen for the cover in Mexico. Duh. Superluchas.net uh, Super speculates that Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero were considered. They speculated. All right, in the light of news that WWE Chief Operating Officer uh, Triple H has vowed not to step down from Running the Raw Super Show, uh, Christian has spearheaded an effort by various uh, superstars, divas, referees, announcers, crew members to travel to Oklahoma City on Monday and stage a, sol a solidarity rally. A rally, really, uh, backstage in the parking lot at the Chesapeake uh, Energy uh, Arena uh, prior to the show. And contingents uh, will consist of uh, those who walked out on Triple H this past Monday night tell uh, WWE.com that they will not be returning to the Raw Super Show or step into the venue performing until Triple H relinquishes his control. Hang on a second. Hey, I'm back. Uh, anyway, I was talking about Triple H. Triple H stated earlier in a uh, video interview that John Cena, Punk, Orton, Sheamus, and Big Show will all headline to Monday night's telecast, so don't tune away. Beyond that, he said, I might have referees, I might not have uh, announcers. Well, he said, I might not have referees, might not have announcers, but I might not have cameramen. Quite frankly, he says, I don't know what's going to happen, he says. Uh, we'll see uh, what we come up with Monday. He says, hell, they may all show up, and uh, I won't let anybody, I won't, I won't let anyone back in. You know, the people walked out, so. Uh, they, of course, it's a teaser, you know, what does the... Uh, Check back in and see uh, what's going to happen Monday. What do you think is going to happen? Triple H ever going to step down? I doubt it. And I still say the old daddy Vince may be behind all this, uh, manipulating uh, laryngitis, uh, trying to get everything stirred up and upset. But uh, hey, I got about two minutes and I don't have to go, but I might as well. Thanks for clicking. I got to go.